it's day 10 and today I will need a lot of courage to do it to get on a skateboard to do this alone I'm skating from Toulon to Marseille it's 57 kilometers and there are like 1000 height meter so it's gonna be really hard there are gonna be a lot of streets with a lot of cars and well yeah I'm quite scared of it but I'm still taking the challenge on it's 8.40 in the morning and yeah I'm gonna head out and we'll see what will happen today I just got out of Toulon now I can film something <laughs> because in the city you need to check about the cars and the buses and where they're going, where they're coming and you always need to be careful but now I'm, now I'm on this bicycle way so it's kind of chilled right now it's going uphill and yeah, doing good so far still scared of the streets there to come but we'll see so now the difficulty started it's gonna be this way and near this road all the way to Marseille I guess if it isn't getting bigger the road so yeah we'll see I hope there are not too many cars and that they're not going too fast just check out these views that I have here on this road just check them out I'm like literally somewhere in the mountains it's it's crazy it's the first time on our trip and I'm really excited about that somehow although it's pretty tough so now that's gonna be a really difficult part there are a lot of trucks passing by and this road is really narrow so yeah I'm kind of scared but it's like four kilometers long and I need to push push through as fast as I can so the faster I go the less danger there is and yeah then I'm going to go out of the street into a parallel street where there's no traffic and yeah looking forward to it and let's continue no. you know how to be a heartbreaker but you don't know how love goes baby I There's a truck coming. Let's get somewhere safe. Fast. Safest place right now. Yeah, a guy just asked me if I wanted to get a lift up to the top. But yeah, it was kind. But I said no because I mean, I'm having the time of my life. <laughs> I just refilled my water bottle and drank something, like always a 1.5 liter bottle water bottle although it's still half past 11 I'm heading to this restaurant because the restaurant I was planning that was beside the Formula 1 track doesn't open on Tuesday so <laughs> it was the only restaurant there and by the Formula 1 track and this one is the next town where we're passing through so there's the restaurant, but the problem is that yeah, there are no restaurants between this town and a town in 20 kilometers and I won't make it before 2 because 
after lunch it will be now the most difficult part where we need to climb up all the way to the Formula One track of France. Little fact, yesterday I bought some new shoes. So yeah, feeling good about them. Hopefully they will last a, little, a bit longer now. The first really nice road, really nice. Just through the nature, no cars, no everyone. It's perfect and it's downhill. had some really delicious pizza which Nico was also here but he couldn't come on this tour because his foot aches now it's the hardest part now I need to literally walk up five kilometers because it's really steep Just so you know how much we drink on a normal day, on this day for example. So it's one o'clock, so it's half of the day, maybe a little early. And I already drank two and a half liters of water. And I have still 0.5 in my bottle. And I'm surely that I will buy another 1.5. So I think I get to the 4.5 liters or something like this of water. So average i would say it's four liters a day so man we're really drinking a lot i've been walking now for the last half last half an hour and it's hot and i'm really sweaty and it's so hard i mean you're just it's just a hill up hill up hill up and you're just walking 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 and i've not yet reached like one third of the way up so I need to keep pushing or keep walking to be fair uh, to get it to Marseille because it's still like I don't know seven kilometers to the top so uh, not so easy today but still grateful for this nice forest I'm in because there's some shade some nice with shade and some wind I just had like one hour break because it was really tough to get up here but now I push in again because I'm already near the top. The nice roads are over, I'm leaving this road behind and I'm going on this peak. But the good thing is I'm nearly there, I'm nearly on the highest point, I nearly got to the, um, to the Formula 1 circuit.
already in my recording for six minutes now. I don't know if it's gonna be a record time today. police told me to not skate on the road there's not a possible way to get to Marseille so I need to do it and it's 10 kilometers on this road I just passed by here at the gas station <laughs> and got something to drink a little bit of water and yeah now I'm gonna skate on towards Marseille I'm gonna push through and I hope that the police don't catch me so back there was the police I think it's another one because they didn't tell me anything so yeah that's good I'm taking another route now, not over this big street because now there's a, like a little parallel street. I'm taking this one, so the police can't tell me anything right now. So yeah, I'm good. There's so much traffic here. <laughs> I'm just overtaking everyone. It feels good <laughs> to be the fastest one. <laughs> I just checked eight kilometers to go. I won. Take my break to eat something. I'm gonna push through and then kind of go and to eat something with Nico at IKEA because it's really cheap. And yeah, my GoPro just has like five percent, so I've been I didn't have been um, filming so much. But yeah, I'm nearly there. I'm gonna push through this road straight through, and then I'm there. It's just one kilometer left, but since two kilometers, the roads are so bad. It's like this big road here where I cannot skate. And on the sidewalks, it's just awful to do it. So I'm literally just walking, and yeah, one kilometer left, nearly there. Oh, I made it. Oh, whoo. It was totally worth it to have the courage to do it at the beginning. I wouldn't do it again, but I don't regret it because I saw some amazing landscape and all this was kind of fun. Just a little kilometer, kilometers, this little three kilometers to here was awful. Oh, whoa. I definitely reached the limit today. My foot just hurt so much and yeah more I can do more so hoping that the next one I hope this is the most difficult one of our trip I really do because it was it was just 57 kilometers but it went really up and down so heavy and now the entrance to, to Marseille was horrible so if I could push the, through there maybe I would feel better because I walked literally the last three kilometers 10 hours I was on the road and yeah, was totally worth it. See you tomorrow and thank you for watching.